Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract a RAR file on your Windows operating system. So there are many tools available for extracting RAR files on your Windows operating system. And what we are going to use to extract our RAR file is we are going to use a tool called WinRAR. So I'm going to show you how to install WinRAR first of all, and then I'm going to show you how you can extract your RAR file using WinRAR. And also I'm going to show you how you can compress your folder into a RAR file. So what is WinRAR? So WinRAR is a data compression, encryption and archiving tool for Windows operating system, which also helps you to open RAR or zip file on your Windows operating system. So let's see how we can install WinRAR. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for WinRAR. And the first link which will appear here will be from win-rar.com. So I'm going to just click on this link. Now on the official WinRAR page, there are two versions available. First one is the premium version and the other one is the free to use version, right? So we are going to download the free to use version. So I'm going to click on this button which says download WinRAR. Now once you click on the download WinRAR button, you will be redirected to this page. Here you need to scroll down and once again click on the download WinRAR button. So I'm going to just click on the download WinRAR button. And as soon as you click on the download WinRAR button, you can see this winrar.exe file is downloaded on my Windows 11 operating system. So I'm going to click on this exe file and I'm going to minimize the browser. Now winrar, when you download it using this method, which I'm going to show you, it's going to show you an additional window as a warning to buy winrar. So if you are okay and if you can avoid this warning every time, then it's free to use. So first of all, you will see this kind of warning. So just click on yes here. And then this setup window will open. Now this will be the default location where WinRAR will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. You can also change this location, but I will recommend that you leave it as default and then click on install. Now on this next window, you will see uh, associate WinRAR with. So here you can see, uh, you can associate WinRAR with different file extensions. So I generally leave everything as default, but in the interface section, I just check this checkbox, which says add WinRAR to desktop, which is going to create a desktop icon on your desktop. Also, if you want to add WinRAR to the start menu, you can check this checkbox. And then you can just click on OK and you will see this message which says WinRAR has been successfully installed to the folder and the folder uh, path will be shown here. Once it's done, you can just click on done and you can see WinRAR shortcut is created on my desktop and it's going to open this window. So this is the location where WinRAR shortcut is available same as your desktop so from here also you can uh, click on this uh, winrar shortcut and open winrar i'm going to close this window so now let's try to open uh, winrar from this shortcut so i'm going to just click on this uh, option and as i have told you whenever you open winrar it's going to show you this uh, warning window that you uh, can buy WinRAR in this price. But if you are happy to ignore this uh, warning, you can just close it and use WinRAR as normal uh, archiving tool, right? So now let's see how we can uh, compress a file or extract a file using WinRAR. So let's say I want to just uh, make a RAR file using this file. I just need to right click on this file and in the new Windows 11 interface, you will not see any option related to WinRAR directly. You need to click on the show more option and then you will be able to see uh, the WinRAR related options here. So when you install WinRAR, you will be able to see all these options available 
when you uh, click on show more options. So let me show you once again, right click and then click on show more options. And then from here, you can uh, do all these things from here. You can archive this file. You can add to uh, this uh, .rar file. You can compress an email and you can uh, compress to this file and email, right? So I'm going to click on the second option here, which says add to uh, the file name .rar, which is going to uh, create this rar file, right? You can see. Now, if you want to create a zip file using WinRAR, you just need to right click and then click on show more option. And then this time you need to click on add to archive. And from here, you can choose the extension of your file. In this case, I want to create a zip file so I can choose zip from here. And you can see the extension now is zip. So your file will be compressed in a zip file. You can also change the name of the file also and you can also change the destination where you want to save your zip file using this browse option. One very interesting feature about WinRAR which I find very useful is you can set a password for your zip file or your RAR files using this option. So when you click on set password, you can set a password and once you set a password, your zip file will open only with that password, right? So if you want to password protect your zip file, then you can use this option. Once you're happy, click on OK. And you can see the zip file is created, right? Now, in order to extract the zip file, you can just right click here once again, and then you can click on extract all or you can click on open with WinRAR archiver and it's going to open this WinRAR window here. You can see there is one file which I have compressed and you can click on extract to option and it's going to allow you uh, to extract this file wherever you want. So let's say I want to extract this file on my desktop. I can choose uh, this location from here and let me minimize everything so you can see the extraction process and then I'm going to just click on OK and once I do that you can see this image is extracted on my desktop so you can do that also right in addition when you open WinRAR using this icon so let me open WinRAR using this icon so you can see when you open WinRAR, it's going to open the last known location to WinRAR. So last time I have used WinRAR in the pictures folder. That's why it has opened this folder by default. You can change this folder location by this drop down menu also. And you can choose the folder of your choice in which your files or folders are there, right? You also have the view, test and delete option. You also have the find option and you also have the add files to archive and these files settings. So you can uh, set the default password from here and all the other options are here. On the top also you have these options and you can uh, click on settings and you can uh, change the settings of WinRAR. So this is how you can download and install WinRAR on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.